Hey guys. So I don't know if you guys can do that. Not cute. I just ordered five guys and I'm still chilling in my room. It's a Sunday, so I'm gonna take a bite. I've already started taking bites of my of my sandwich, but I'm a very messy eater, so sorry about that. Mm. Oh gross. Love Vibe Guys. Love it. Okay. So. I don't know. I thought I'd do like a chit chat video today. Um, oh, I'm so sorry about the AC too in the background. It's so annoying. It's so loud. I don't know why, but it is, so, sorry about that, um, so I thought I'd come up here and talk. about a few things, like, I don't know. I was thinking the other day and I was thinking that I've never really like introduced myself. It's so funny because I've been doing YouTube videos for like off and on since like 2012. <laughs> but I've never really sat down and like talked about like almost like who I am. If that makes any sense. I think my dilemma with this channel, with my channel, has always been like, what am I gonna make out of it? You know, like what do I concentrate on? Like at first, when I first started, like I said, like in 2012, it was like makeup, makeup videos. But then, like even now, I want to say like it's been like a year and a half that I don't even watch makeup videos like that, or reviews or hauls like. I think if I try to go to like Sephora or Ulta, it literally is something that, I don't know, maybe like foundation or like something for my eyebrows. Like I don't think I've gotten an eye palette in so long, but yeah, I don't know. I've kind of like sh shied away from the makeup world. Mm. Just too much drama in it too. I'm not going to lie. I do sometimes follow it. It's been a while that I haven't followed it. Or that I have followed it. Sorry. That, um, yeah, it's very weird. It's, and I'm kind of, uh, I don't know how to say it, but I'm kind of bored of the big YouTubers, if that makes any sense. The big makeup gurus of YouTube. I don't know. I just feel like it's so boring now and like repetitive and it's like the same thing plus the drama like i want to say within the last year and a half maybe two years i've been watching like a lot of smaller channels because i feel like i can relate to them a lot more um yeah i don't know they're more interesting to follow it's like real life something that I can relate to you know I mean I can't go to like Sephora and buy $500 worth of you know um, makeup let alone like even buy myself a foundation I can't really do that like a lot so like that's a treat for me so I don't know like smaller channels like vlogs um, lifestyle videos um, are more what I've been into lately, if that makes any sense. Sorry, I need to take a dip because I'm talking and I'm not eating. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh my God. Um, anyways, back to my channel. I've been doing tours like 
um, like lifestyle videos. That's why I vlog and do like something like um, I'm about my surgery. You know, I'll vlog about my surgery or I think I've also done like what else have I done? I've done reviews, but it's like reviews like like ever so often about things like that. So I'm at the point where I'm like, I think I'm more like a vlog lifestyle channel. Um, like don't get me wrong. I still like like makeup and everything, but I don't think I'll concentrate myself on that. I think ever again. Um, definitely like if I ever go to Ulta, maybe I'll, I would love to show like what I got and things like that. Or like, um, you know, reviews on like product, but, uh, or like a handbag or anything. Um, but I would like to do like more lifestyle, like what's happening in my life. Um, you know, whether it be an event or, you know, a health issue or anything, you know. Um... Yeah, because I feel like that's the way to relate, like, on my, I love how on my, um, ovarian cyst removal, um, video, I had so many people, like, comment and say, oh, oh, I went through that too, or I'm going through that right now, or this happened to me, like, you see, like, I love building those relationships, like, that's, that's so cool, and, um, um, actually, on one of my review videos, I actually got like um, someone who wanted to wanted me to like do an update video, which um, unfortunately I can't because I ended up selling that bag because um, that's how I am. I'm I'm interest I get interested in other things, and so like in order to justify me myself, me myself buy myself something else that I want I am like oh well I can get rid of something that I'm not using a lot and the thing is that my thing with like I wouldn't even call, consider like that handbag like a designer bag but it was like a coach bag um and like things like Michael Kors like I can never commit like oh I get so like intrigued and like you know excited to like get one but then I end up like Oh, I mean, I don't really use it. Also, like, I would like to get to know, see how I can get to know people more, more. Um, you know, just opening. I feel like myself opening up more um because i feel like if i'm gonna be vlogging i need to like you know open myself up a little bit more than i have been so i'm gonna try to do that um in different ways like i could do like a get to know me tag video i don't know if people do that anymore but just so you can get to, like, I, like i said i don't think i ever like Introduce myself, <laughs> if you will. Um, I've, my mom's Peruvian. My dad's Salvadorian. Um, I was born in the U.S. You know, I'm from Virginia. <laughs> I was born in Virginia. Oh. Shout out to all you Virginians out there. Um, 
and I've lived here my whole life. Never really moved outside of the state. Um, I did go abroad, but, but see, this is what I'm trying to do, is open up more. Um, so, if you do want to get to know me, <laughs> Oh, I was thinking about doing, like I said, like, like it's know me tag, like leave me questions, you know, about what, to, what you want to know about me based on previous videos or what you would like to see on this channel. I'm more than open to anything. Um, oh, I love ASMR. Love it. It really does help with helping me fall asleep. That's another thing. So I've been watching vlog, lifestyle videos, and ASMR. It's so, I feel in ASMR you can also relate a lot to people. Oh, um, it's so weird because as a kid, like whenever my, my mom would do my hair, or, or like, you know, at school we would always like play with each other's hair. And I always would feel like, like falling asleep, very like, you know, um, relaxed. And look at that. It's a thing. Now we know what it is. But yeah. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I think I've let people know a little bit about what I do for a living. I work in an enhanced autism classroom. It is awesome. Um, it does have its challenges, but it's very rewarding in the sense that you do see these kids hit these milestones or these like mastering their goals you know for the school year because it's not only like academic it's also like life skills that they learn and it's so cool to see them you know meet those goals you know from like even advocating for themselves which is Honestly, that's all I care. As long as they can advocate for themselves, you know, be able to survive in this world. But yeah, I have grown very attached to these group of kids because these group of kids have been the first kids that I worked with and also like consistently I've been working with them for like the last three years. The last three school years so yeah so yeah I mean yeah uh, pretty much you know um, you guys see my husband in a few of the vlogs so I'm married <laughs> uh, what else yeah, I mean, right now we live in an apartment, so we're trying to uh, see how we can purchase a home. Um, so we're trying to hit our own milestones. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like, anywho, I gotta do this tag. I like send me send me pictures, send me, you know, requests or like your own questions that you may have for myself. Like I said, based on videos from the past or anything, and I would gladly do something. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to this burger. I feel like I'm talking and not eating. I don't know what's done.